Hello! What? We haven't turned the lights on. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake and today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. I am also deep voice Ben. <laughs> I knew once I started that I was somehow in my deep octave. Yeah, um, ben, yeah, I was like, I guess we're doing this. Look, it's fine. It's another thing for us to talk about seeing as it's just the two of us this week. Yes. Um, we are here for the serious deep voice podcast. Yes. Only the most serious news for Cowboy for Game. Anyway, how was your week? <laughs> My week in Yu-Gi-Oh! was alright. So, I alluded to this probably two to three weeks ago on the podcast, but... Every two to three weeks. Actually, every week for two to three weeks. No, no, no. So, I think like two or three weeks ago, I like planted the seeds of me building Cash Tira. Because I was like, oh, you know, like, the, I kind of don't mind the just make a, a Rise Heart, use whatever one for one trades you've got in your hand and pass. So I built that. That deck is brain dead as fuck. So mm-hmm. I built it, did probably two, maybe three test hands before the tournament. And by test hands, I mean shuffled my deck, drew five cards, said, there's a unicorn. Shuffled my deck, drew five cards, there's a unicorn. Okay, I think I know how to play this deck. And I won locals. So, it's yeah. Pretty real simple. Pretty simple deck to play. Just a lot of. Make the ranks, uh, make the rank seven with your three materials. Send maybe one or two back row. Have some hand traps in hand. Pass, and then your opponent does whatever they can do to out that. And then you're like, you didn't fully get through it. Dang. It's yeah. I don't mind the playstyle. Like I find it really enjoyable to have those. Just every one to one trade off is valuable and important. And it's, it's it's interactive Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like it's interactive to the point of like. You have something, I trade off. You have something, I trade off. And if you just lose that resource game, you lose the game. Like, it's simple. It's how Yu-Gi-Oh should be. If you lose the hand-to-hand resource battle, game over. Hmm. Yeah. I still don't write it. But anyway. Um, so yeah, you won and you didn't go today. No. Nope. No one went today. I won't be at Locals on a Sunday for like, probably a month now. Damn. Yeah, I got stuff on every Sunday. Okay, good to know, good to know. Might be a week of, um, a month rather, of just chill on Sundays. Chill out. Yeah. Be productive on our Sundays like you were today. Yes, I got many things done today because I wasn't playing card games. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so my week. Um, on Tuesday, played uh, Branded again. Um, I'm warming to the deck a little bit more. Purely because after watching the UK Opens, which we'll chat about in a second, I guess, um, I realised that I'm just trying too hard for the deck. I'm trying to make it something that it's not by adding all these convoluted lines. Like, there's definitely stuff that can be added to the deck, but I think at its heart and soul, you just go back to the original thing of yeah. Mirror Jade, Brandon in Red slash Banishment, yeah. Pass. Again, just one-to-one trade-offs trying to out- interact your opponent. Yeah. Because what I found is that I was trying so hard to end on, like, this perfect end board of, yeah. like, Rinbrum, Gwignol, Mirror Jade, uh, Lost, and all this other stuff just yeah. sitting on the board. And it was, just, it was just exhausting trying to get to that every board. So rather than that mentality, the mentality is to end on Mirror Jade set cards yep. and use the other cards to extend if I get interrupted, as opposed to... No, this is the combo, so I need to always be getting to this combo. Yeah, I found it from watching you play a lot, and I guess playing against you, there was a lot of times where you were, like, throwing a lot at the board and then just kind of ending on a Gwignol and, and something else, and I was just like, what does the Gwignol do? And you're like, it does this. And I'm like, I get it, but I'm going to play around this now. <laughs> yeah, the Gwignol really doesn't do much outside of its initial Foolish Burial. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, um, touch my deck. <laughs> um yeah outside of the initial foolish burial it's really not super useful yeah um but it again is a foolish and like you're sending an albion from your extra deck or you're sending your labellion from your main deck so yeah. it does things it does yeah. but yeah, yeah I just it is like not better things you it is not doing. a critical thing of the end board is yeah. i guess the main thing um yeah so that's got to be my mentality moving forward is just go for standard end board of uh banish destroy some stuff, bring it back, banish again. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. And then, yeah, nothing really happened today. So I got um, normal life things done. Well, we played in the final on Tuesday. So. We did, and that was awful. It wasn't that bad. No, it was awful. No, it was... We, it could have been so much worse, Jake. We could have known during the game that uh, Predator Plant doesn't negate... Act, only negates activated effects. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Anyway. How to make um, things worse. Yeah. Um, so, starting off the news, I suppose we start with Master Duel. The uh, Duelist Cup is well underway. Have you started that? Or uh, Yes. You did? I played Gemini FTK. Now that new stuff's there. Good, bad, indifferent. I went 5-0 and then got bored and stopped. <laughs> yeah, look, tends to happen. Um, where did you start in your rankings? Uh, level 9? 8 or 9? I'm not sure if that's where I started, but I feel like I started much lower than what previous ones I had. I thought I was going to start at 1, and I logged in and it was like, here's the gems for getting to this rank, and I was like, I, I haven't done anything. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was expecting to be higher, because I remember in the last two, I started quite a bit higher. I think I started at, like, DB15 or something. Okay. And this time I started somewhere similar to that, like, 9 or 10. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I have to do a lot of this. I, I don't know how to feel about that. See, I thought you had to, like, play a bunch of games and get a high win percentage to try and qualify for Worlds, but no? Well, there's two stages. Okay. So, first stage, you're trying to get up to DLV max. Yeah. At which point you get to stage two. You get your then stage two is when you get the points. Okay. Sure. And then based on your points is where you finish. Um, yeah, so I need to double check how much longer is left in that because I'm at uh, DV19 at the moment. But I'm getting stuck. I keep like yo-yoing between high 18 and low 19 because I keep versing one deck or two decks in particular that are just very annoying. What? Uh, runic of some description, whether it just be pure runic or runic sprite. Yep. Or, uh, 60 card pile. Okay. I can get it. 60 card pile is really good when you can mill 10 cards for free. Oh, yeah, because they got the Ishizus. Yeah. That's a thing. That's actually cool. I might try that. Yeah, so it's like... That's probably going to be really expensive. It's got, yeah, there's going to be a lot of Ultras. Like, it usually uses Punk to start off the engine. Yeah. Um, like, Chaos Dragon, some shit in the bin, and all yep, that nonsense. Yep. Um, but yeah, like, the end board isn't crazy. The I'd, I'd say probably the craziest thing about the ones that I've had to deal with is that it's also had a Colossus on the board. Yeah, because you have that little Thunder Dragon package that you can banish off with snow, and then exactly. that triggers you get the Colossus, and then you can do some all plays, and you have snow for interruption on top of the Colossus, and then... Yeah. Yeah, probably a rank 8 of some description. Uh, no, I haven't seen them end on a rank 8. Okay. They generally link it off so that they've got uh, IP material to make an Appaloosa. That makes sense. But yeah, there's usually like Colossus, IP, uh, maybe a Sprite Elf to prevent targeting, Barone, and a Snow Engrave. And shufflers as yeah, well. They have Sprite Elf on top of that. Oh, that's pretty real. Yeah, it's not nice. Um, so yeah, that deck has caused me problems. Um, the other thing that I didn't realise today, I thought I was like playing it out really well. I saw him like use, um, I want to say, not Ogre Dance. What's what's the other um, big level one? There's Ogre Dance and the other one. Uh, Foxy 2? No, it's another level 8, but it's not Ogre Dance. It's a dark type. But anyway, you use that, and I had the Ash, but I was like, no, I'll hold the Ash, because if it's 60 card pile, I don't want to get gamut on this yep. with an empty board state, because I'll just get fucked. Yes. Um, so added the um, the Saman, let's say. Yep. Um, oh, no, it's Ziaman now, isn't it? That's right, they changed it. Doug. <laughs> no, 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 they changed it. The OCG name was the, the bad word, but they changed the S to a Z in the TCG, so it's Ziaman. Whereas in the OCG, it's it was just semen. semen. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was the one going on a different tangent, and I was like, hold on, it's semen. Yeah. yeah. So he summons the Ziaman, uses the search, I let him pay the life points, and then he goes yep. for the Ogre Dance to then summon the Foxy Tune from deck. I was like, yep. oh, okay, I'll Ash here. He had two Hell of Orange Light in hand. <laughs> And then I saw later that he did have the Gamma, so I'm like, okay, I wasn't punished, ah, yes. it's just he opened everything. Yes. <laughs> so rude uh, but yeah like those 60 card piles are just so hard because now you've got the Ishizus that are just sending stuff to grave constantly so they just always have access to millers yeah. and because they have access to millers they have access to everything so it may well be that they just hit more of the Ishizu stuff before you even get tier in there 
at which case we have to go back to like a danger tier build yeah that's because even runic's using them as well for shufflers they're just so good they really are they should all be at one only a week until OCG banished true yes um yeah i suppose that covers the master tool thing um so um there was an announcement made by konami about when the ban list would be announced because usually it's pretty set for the ocg it's normally early in the month too yeah it's usually like a good two to three weeks before it's actually in effect yeah whereas this time around it hasn't been and they had to put an announcement out there to say it was getting announced on the 26th of march because their website kept crashing because everyone was constantly checking to see where it was it's a problem (laughs) So, yeah, so that puts us, like... A week out? Yeah, literally a week from now. Okay. So it'll probably get announced during just the after podcast. we finish. <laughs> we'll, we'll manipulate that's it next week to well, do it during the podcast. Well, that's traditionally when it gets announced, is when we just finish the podcast. Yes. We're at home, in bed, and it's like, oh, ban list. We'll try and do it so it's a live stream. Uh, not a live stream. A live, a live on the podcast reaction next week. Yeah. We'll try. Well, actually, will we? Because you've got things on. My things will be done by like after lunchtime. We'll be okay. done, I'll be done by like one to o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe we just start locals later. It's an option. It's an option. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what they actually address in there because uh, according oh, to the be, most. Uh, arcing nuke. Well, yeah, according to the most recent uh, OCG metagame report, Tier Element is still the most highly represented deck. Yeah. All tier cards to one, maybe banned. Uh, all. I- uh Shizu cards probably banned yeah i think that's kind of what they need to do yeah like um, i was hoping that they wouldn't go that far with tier here so soon all pearly cards to one so here's the breakdown in total so we go <laughs> tier element at 26 percent cash at 8.3 is the next highly represented yeah all xc well, is banned excluding others uh adam Ancipator coming back um i think it's using some of the vernisilf cards to they also like, have block make dragon the board. Still. yeah they do still have block dragon yeah uh pearly coming in at eight percent as well uh it just says bestial but i'm assuming it's bestial branded or maybe it's just dragon link um that's at 6.1 uh then we've got exorcista runic tribegay dragon link oh no it must be must just be bestial control with like the new synchro okay yeah sure makes sense uh dragon link labyrinth and then 24 percent other like pure bestial control can work in a format where tree element's still the best deck and it's fairly fragile mm. like it clearly isn't that fragile but it's at least some kind of fragile <laughs> yeah and it's it's something that i've thought about literally just now um actually that's not true it's been a thought sort of dangling in my mind for a little while is that they have a very different mentality as to like when a deck gets hit as to what we do like if a deck's hit to a certain percentage here we just abandon it oh like, yeah it just dies it yeah. doesn't see the light of day until new support comes out and then it comes back with the with like a mad vengeance yeah whereas they're as long as they're happy with the deck they will just be like oh okay all right let's see how we can make this work and that's clearly just what happens with you there well it's because they still have the good ishizu cards at three that's the thing i've seen them try with other decks before i can't think of any examples at the moment which i, I know real sounds like a fucking bullshit um spiral argument. yeah they tried to make spiral work for a long time yeah and it's, i guess it's just a mentality of like oh i really like this deck so i'm gonna keep playing it yeah i don't know why the ocg likes spiral so much like it's a, TC- in... it's a tcg exclusive archetype yeah normally those archetypes get like abandoned like burning abyss wasn't that popular over in japan no yeah here we are yeah hmm. um can't wait for them to all really 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 like whatever that fucking deck was that i've already forgot steam of gold Club? that's it they haven't got goatee yet either i feel like they i feel like they would jazz with goatee sure they'll get a busted link one get more of a link one all OCG TCG support is Link Ones. Yeah, it's now just Link Ones forever. Um, okay, so we have some cards that are going to be coming out in uh, Duelist Nexus. While, while we're off on the segue, hmm? are we going to discuss the product announcement for Gold Pride merch? That announcement was made a while ago, right? I think so, but I don't think we mentioned it. 
I think it was like a brief footnote in one of ours. But yeah, they are bringing out yeah. uh, gold pride specific uh, merchandise. There's gold pride cards are going up in price because people are like, well, if they've announced the merchandise, the cards themselves must be good that are coming out in the next support. I don't think that's a really solid people's mentality. So what is it? It's like the same sort of shit that they'd usually do. Yeah, sleeves, folder, playmat, playmat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind the sleeves. Like the sleeves are really left field from what the entire thing is, because it's like one small emblem that's on the woman card. It's like the fish oh. bone thing. Okay, that's not like too that's bad. the sleeves. Like yeah. it's not super offensive, but it's also a very loose connection to the archetype. I'll buy those sleeves. You would. I don't support enough Konami to, like product. Because they don't bring enough good I stuff probably here. Pick something up. I was gonna buy that really shit uh, hero playmat. <laughs> And even I then, I was like, mm, nah. I haven't seen it IRL. I've not seen it. I, I, think, I, I think like a stores like w or something. I think stores got it, and they're like, no, take it back, please. I don't, OTS has definitely just didn't order it. Absolutely not. Yeah, definitely not. And I respect that. Yeah, that's what they should do. Um, so yeah, um, back to where I was. Uh, so Duelist Nexus, we've got some new cards being announced. One of my favorite announcements so far from Duelist Nexus. More dinosaur support? Incorrect. Unchained. Oh, Jake was excited for Unchained. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, completely unexpected. I was not expecting this archetype to ever get support ever again. At least not direct support. Um, like, it's, because it's fiend-related, there's always fiendish things can go in. Does Unchained pop off when your opponent destroys cards, or do you have to destroy your opponent's cards? No, no, Do you have to destroy just, your own cards? Just things getting destroyed. Doesn't matter how. Okay, so, like, if I was, for example, to pop a baby Cerasaurus in my hand, would Unchained pop off? No, 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 you need to destroy my stuff. Ah, oh, okay. I was like, would it pop off as a hard counter to Dino and that's what they've kind of done and now this is the lore of dinosaurs the Unchained came in? And... It... <laughs> that would be the weirdest lore connection. So there was a world of dinosaurs and then some and people then showed suddenly up this huge evil fetish. This evil warlock came. <laughs> they want to chain them all up. Because that, that... I know you don't care about lore. However, the lore of Unchained is that this warlock was too powerful, they locked him away, but then two souls escaped, but then there was suddenly a third, and they worked to release him. It's the and third then... support? Hmm? was the third support? It was like a recent, but not super disconnected piece of support. Okay. There is this one, um, the... anyway, not important, it's law, no one cares. Um, the most important thing about this is that okay. we've actually got three more names that we can link with, because originally you could only link with, like, the links already or the big dogs okay. from deck whereas okay. now we have two more main deck dogs yep. which kind of sum themselves somewhat for free okay. one of them tutors a trap from deck that can't get ashed so that's already fucking pog there's a set from deck yeah that's good yeah 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 yeah. yeah. and then uh the other one is the link uh which lets you like when something's destroyed it like vanishes itself to search another monster okay and again it's a name so you can link into the link to with that that then does the thing yeah it's very good very good support not busted doesn't need to be busted but it's just very solid okay that's respectable i i really like it and the artwork's kind of cool too like this one it looks like something but i can't think of what it looks like uh it, it's like some kind of chinese zodiac dragon that's blue and something well, yeah, again. Uh, it looks like one of the... So there's a, a black, like a purplish Yangzing that's like swirling towards the picture. Uh, yeah. It looks like a color swirl of that. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Um, Jatsu? I don't know. I don't know if I'm making up names here. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Um, but yeah, really solid piece of support. I'm actually looking forward to playing that once it comes out. Um, and then we have, uh, support coming out for Earth's Arctic and Drytron. <laughs> I know how much you love Drytron. Um, the Earth's Arctic card is garbage. Um, let's just get that straight out of the way. Isn't um, it? I thought it was the same card for both decks. No, 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 no. Like, they are technically support for both decks. Oh, yeah. actually, no, sorry, I like The Earth's Arctic one is just for Earth's Arctic. Oh, the other the one The Drytron is technically for both, but it's much better in, in Dry Drytron than it is in Earth's It's a free body, isn't it? Yes, so... Um, but it's not a level one? No, it's a level seven. Um, I think that's to make it... 
um, tunable with Earth's Arctic. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, if you control oh. Earth's Arctic or Drytron, uh, special that's summon it from hand, then add no Earth's Arctic or Drytron spell trap from deck to hand. So it's it's basically like it gives you that the spell card, so it's a ritual spell searcher or whatever, so you don't have to fully shit off the, the one. But then it's just a link body after that because you can't use it for the yeah. Xyz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. You can also just use it for a ritual, like you can just put it in the bin. But their rituals like a level ten, aren't they? They don't do levels, Ben. They do attack. Oh, that's the thing. Mm. Jake, teaching got... me Drytron plays. <laughs> oh no, because <laughs> um, yeah, it's got two thousand attack. Oh, like all of them. Okay, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's still just that and another Drytron, and you've got yourself your your Wang Bang Doodle. Sorry, what? The Wang Bang Doodle. Okay, that's what the big Drytrons are called. It's Drytron Wang Bang and Drytron Doodle. I realise you don't know anything about the archetype, but... Yeah, no, no idea. Paul Pelican is going to be furious with you. Sorry, Paul. Send him... Send him, like, a full epilogue of what Drytrons do. Please don't. <laughs> I I really don't care. Uh, but also... Do... look different? I'll let you keep going. <laughs> uh, but also in uh, Duelist Nexus, we have the second lot of support for the Nemorelia deck, uh, the Dream Monster things. Oh, the cake, the cakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got train cakes. Yeah. Except you can't make trains unless mm. you hard summon them. The spell that gets them out for free locks you out of trains. Does it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, they've got uh, a new level ten, which is a light fairy instead of like the other types. Um, okay. This one looks far more distinctively like a cake, but it also looks evil as fuck. Like it, it's like that. Honestly, if you... <laughs> I'm correct. Yeah. <laughs> You are, but I don't... I know I'm right. <laughs> Jake doesn't like my descriptors. It's got... Um, but it also yeah. explains Hungry Burger. <laughs> but when it's uh, summoned, you can search the pend that actually gets the whole deck live. Um, yeah. And yeah, all it needs to do is, like, target a monster you control, place it on the bottom of the deck to special summon itself, so it's a relatively free summon okay. as well. Okay. Um, and then you've got uh, the dragon that looks like it was made out of waffle cones. Um, and that one is, um, again, a free summon um, and sets a Numerelia tra trap from deck. Yep. Uh, the trap doesn't look amazing, if I'm honest, but it's kind of free, so you might as well. We're all going to be playing dinosaurs, so it's fine. <laughs> Um, speaking of support, there was another card, or another couple of cards, really. I wonder how much um, of the washing machine is being picked up to the microphone. Today. I'm sure it's fine. It'll just be like a nice water feature in the background. Oh, Pretend yeah. there's a water feature. We actually have a water feature here in the office. Office? And it's not the washing machine. This is the Cowboy for Game offices. Sure. Yes. Definitely not an apartment. Um, you can have apartment offices. Uh, so VS got what a new... office is a house? VS got a new support card. Uh, exactly. Quick normal spell uh reveal a monster in your hand special summon a vs monster from your deck with a different name but the same attribute or return it to the hand during the revealed phase. monster yes okay nice that's yeah. good support that's a good card yeah solid card um oh yeah it does say once per turn okay because that'll be bastard <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredibly fucking bastard uh, reveal summon add uh reveal the other one summon <laughs> yeah well that's what i was thinking um, so yeah, that's kind of cute. Um, I think we still haven't got, like, I don't want it to be a thing, but we haven't got an announcement of an additional card for the dinos yet. Because we got the additional, um, Hungry Burger one last week, where it's like, um, uh, pre prep for the, for the uh, archetype. Maybe they, do, maybe they had the other dinos coming and they were like, you, you know, we, get don't, we don't need more because <laughs> that seemed like they announced all the support when they announced it. Like everything logically made sense to go into each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. I can. I wish to wait forever. But um, Jake, you're gonna get the cake that goes rah rah rah. I don't want the cake that goes rah rah rah. What have you chained it up? But then I can't summon from the extra deck. I can't do both, Ben. I want to do both. Okay, sure. I want evil dog and cake. Anyway, um, have your cake and eat it too. Well, I want my dog to eat the cake. Okay, sure. Anyway, um, we do have more speed duel product coming. 
Hooray for the seven people in the world that fucking play Speed Duels. One of them's Bragg. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so he this... can't get a tier support. The other six people got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they made bank. Um, so this one is based on Battle City. Um, so it's going to be all of those ones. I thought we had moved past Battle City. Uh, yeah, it's kind of doing it out of sequence. It's a bit weird. Um, so yeah, it comes with eight it's... secret rares as a po like, sort of like the other ones. Yep. Um, they've only hinted at two. I oh, know. Two. Sorry, I'm just Three. double checking the whole thing. Um, so yeah, there's eight in general. Uh, yep. They've given us two from what I can see so far, which is Dark Magician Girl and Flame Swordsman. Aww. There's another six. It could be alright. Um, it's also Battle City. Like none of the decks playing in Battle City were amazing decks. Graceful dice. That already has a Priz rare that's really nice. Taku. Mm, take every cut. <laughs> all, um, all those Priz rares Taku at a sneeze. Oh, two of the eight secret rares in every box will be Slyfar and Arcana Dark Magician. I vomited a little. Oh, I know. I don't mind Arcana. Dark I was going to say, we only spoke about this like yeah. in the last month that the Arcana is like one of your top three. I just I don't, don't like the. Speed duel at the bottom. That's fine, you can barely see like, it. There's some cards where I'm like, that's okay. Like the Cosmic Cyclones. The Cosmic Cyclones, I'm like, that's okay. Bragg has joined us. Yeah, sure, why not? Limited edition. Bragg <laughs> has entered the room. Um So yeah, like I don't mind it on the Cosmics, but on there's there's like other cards where I'm like, this is disgusting. Where we at? Welcome to Bragg. We're talking about speed duels. Oh, talking about yeah. speed duel battle scene. It, it's actually super weird that they're going back to that. Like, yes. it, yeah. If only there was a series after GX. But too much power creep. Way too much power creep. You don't need to touch the sinks though. You could just have some of the archetypes. Just give them all the great archetypes, like synchrons and infinities. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. Black, yeah. Yes. Just give them all the black wings that summon themselves and nothing else. Oh, legitimately, you can actually do that. Just like 1,200 attacker, 1,000 attacker, no, no, 800 no. attacker. Sweet Better system. idea. Better idea. Do a cross duels and just make them main deck monsters. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> is Flame Swordsman a main deck monster? Yeah. Because, yes. like, they do mention the Flame Swordsman stuff. Yeah, because yeah, that's going to be one of the uh, secret rares. Yeah. So, two of this. Two of the eight is going to be Dark Magician and Flame Swordsman. Is like one of your random ones that you can get. Yeah. Um, but then you're guaranteed to get the Slifer and the Arcana Dark Magician in secret. Yeah. If those, are, actually, if those Arcana Dark Magicians are real cheap, I might just pick up a bunch. They'll be good quality as well. They're good card stock, unless if they've changed it. Yeah, because I have like a bunch of on. I have one first dead and a bunch of on limbs huh. from the, old, the last print. And I would rather them all be first dead. But at the same time, I forgot they did the on limb run of that. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. Um, they're also saying four deluxe two-player game mats. I don't remember there being deluxe uh, game mats. If it's deluxe and like this style, if it's all the ones that they weren't if able to like, it's actually they're not going to be this. Do you know what it's going to be? Those like solid wood cardboard. Yeah, ones. the cardboard ones. Deluxe. The looks. Uh, surely we these. Them. They they they've put this style in product before. It's been nearly ten years, but <laughs> they've put it in there before. How noble of them. I mean if they're gonna do it yeah. in Actually, any no, time. shit, that was a, I mean that was eight years. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. I tell you what was disgusting, those rares. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, so I am just gonna assume it's just leftover stock that they haven't been able to load off that they've just gone and re put in there like those deluxe mats. I'm sure. I bet. Potentially. But they've designated artwork for it. It's like Yami, Yugi, and Arcana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Arcana's... Oh, that's weird. We well, yeah, get... Oh, don't worry. I was going to say new cards, but no, that ain't happening. Not in Speed Duels. Not a chance. <laughs> I was going to be like, is there, a, is there a world where we get a power creeped version of Mystic Box? <laughs> Or we just get like half of those cards that Arcana used that we've never seen before in real life ever. Like, I chainsaw your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> a debut card in Speed Duels would be interesting though. Yeah. One day. But they've only done not. a debut card in um, Duel Links, right? Yes. Yeah, but that uh, was basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And that was based on a card that we'll do anyway. Do we end up getting Kyle Ward in the end? I, I don't think I've ever seen it. I'll see. I don't know. That card was so good in 2005 that, no. It's kind of weird that Kyle Ward didn't turn up in um, GX. Unless if it did, then I just completely missed it and it sucks. Which I doubt. It was just Battle Feeder. Yeah. But. It's a kite. I use my kite droid. It's just weird that they're going back to this well and not pivoting to Rush. Considering yeah. that is the t- that is the TV program that is now just airing. Can across. the product and release Rush tools? Yeah, you've got the Switch game. Like, it's just. Do we have the Switch game? Have they actually given us that yet? Yeah. We don't okay. have a physical release, just digital. Yeah. Oh, okay. The physical release comes with the Dark Magician God. I feel like they're only doing sorry a digital release okay. so that you can like they can actually gauge who's actually interested. And yeah. If there's enough following on the digital platform, they'll go okay. Here's a limited run of I don't know a starter deck. I don't even know if it does the starter deck. Well, the game's kind of rough, so I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Hooray! You, you More speed Something rough about being able to just throw your entire hand at the board and letting the game try and oh, handle that. Oh, I don't mind the mechanics. I'm more implying that can the game handle you going what do 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 It's okay. Not really Gerard Way won't wait for us. Yeah it will. You're good to we've still got more news to come quickly, so you're good to go. I'll do the rest of the news. Okay. Um Ben might want to duck out for this. Law book! Ooh! Yes. Uh, the uh valuable book EX3 uh has been released apparently. Um, apparently it was meant to be another month from now, but it's been released now. Um, so, the archetypes that are mentioned in it are Albas slash Branded Law, uh, Vista Starfrost line, Valiance, Labyrinth, Runic, and Generator, which is the first significant confirmation that they are a tied archetype. Yeah. Um, you've also got Pearly, Makanko, Vernasilf, Ninja, Rescue Ace, Libramanta, Amazement, um, Leela Rap, which is like that one specific card that's like a evil twin card but not an evil twin card um gunkin sue ship sweet roommate <laughs> sweet roommate which is the dragon made card that's not a dragon made card um ultimate slayer and uh cut what could they possibly do with gunkins and Was then you... the ships came in yeah <laughs> i the reviews were great i'm not sure if i can make that joke yeah, let's move then. Yeah, so one of the interesting pieces of this is that uh, it's mentioned the Albaz thing is like it's blurb. It goes, introducing the stories for each theme hidden in the illustrations of OCG cards. The story of Albaz and Ecclesia that has been published in the Babel book so far will also be reaching its temporary slash for now conclusion. More law! Woo! Temporary conclusion. Chief pops the mic for Albaz law. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, dude. That's on brand. Every, every time, Dead. every time that we're well, Brad's entry was unplanned, but every time we're on the podcast alone, we talk about law, and you die a little. <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is true. Whee! The Macaco <laughs> stuff will be nice, but I can't imagine there's anything too deep there, and they are doing new stuff as well. There's been deep before. Are they? And yeah, then... yeah. There's, there's, um, there's like a few characters in the background of um ceremony. And then I mean, there's the also show. a Necro's trap that's been mentioned. Yeah. We're still waiting on that. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, sure. If I wait ten, ten if I wait ten years for Macunkos, God, everybody's home. coming home. Yeah, almost suspicious. <laughs> uh, I think that's most, if not all, the news. I'm oh, just double checking. I can do a question. I'm just double checking. Yes. Do, 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 do. Wait, what's this? Oh yes. Um. So. Uh. Um. Just. Very quickly, the WCQ um, uh, sort of got announced. Top... Hmm? Oh, I thought the dates got announced. WCQ. No, if only. Um, no. Oh, it's... they did get they get announced for every other country but us. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just further proof that Konami hates this year. Um, but what they have announced is what the pricing for the current WCQ run will be. Yep. Um, <laughs> I think they did announce like a full run, but basically, uh, first place doesn't get a switch anymore. Uh, only second place. So, haha. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you didn't get a switch, loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worth most, like, more than almost anything else you get, other than the prize card. Yeah, man with super prize card be like, I really won here. <laughs> I get to play Yu-Gi-Oh on my Switch. <laughs> and not even really. There's just so much clicking and story and just people talking at you. 
and they don't even tell the proper story. What? Imagine. Imagine a world where... So all these people get flown to Japan. And second, third, and fourth are flying to Japan with their switches in first place. is just like, fucking gotta sit here for the whole fucking flight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't pay for it, so in theory he could have bought himself, like, three switches. Uh, but anyway, more... What I was getting to the point is... It's actually a good point, Jake. I didn't go on a holiday yesterday, so rightfully I should just buy some stuff instead. What? It's a good point. It's a good point. When were you supposed to go on a holiday? What? Just No, just because I didn't yesterday, I should have roared myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like standard broke bitch um, logic is I didn't buy this, therefore I should reward myself for buying this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 Um, but what I was trying to say is that the uh, Matt and Field Center has changed for current WCQ run, um, and it's going to be Power Code, no, Protector Code Talker, um, which is one of the cards coming out in the Cyberstorm Access set. Yeah. Okay, the last Code Talker. Yeah. yeah you say that. Every yeah. single Code Talker that comes out from now on, I'm going to say the last Code Talker. I mean, I said the last Albaz support, and here we are. <laughs> Getting more lore, apparently. Or oh, the law coming to Look, speed. It's probably rules. just why um, or how fucking um, Kit got to the Therion world because that still hasn't been explained. No, it'll be like, and then Albaz met himself because he realized three could be in a deck. So they Xyz together. <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, so, uh, on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link, will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, so, our first question comes to us from, I believe, a new question asker, Ooh. Uh, Matthew Mack. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for this question. Uh, what are your ideas for Pot of Greed retrains? Uh, mine is Pot of Advantage. Quick play spell. Your opponent draws three cards, then either discards one card or shuffles one to the deck. Their choice. After that, you can add a card from your deck to your hand once per turn. Oh. So they get to draw two, you get to search one. Pots don't really... Fairer than Rota. <laughs> yeah, pots don't really search, though. They they either excavate or draw, right? Uh, pot of adding adds. What? That's and right. Pot of subtracting. Everyone just, forgot. Uh, pot of dichotomy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pot of subtracting is reveal your hand to your opponent. They shuffle one card back into your deck. You're the turn that ends. <laughs> and what does dichotomy do? Uh, you just put a card from your hand, like to the bottom of your deck. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So garbage. yeah, so but like, but it's not physically grabbing a single card from your deck and adding it to your hand. It's not. I don't think pot will ever be a tutor card. No, but also we have um, thrusting that kind of does that anyway. Yeah, kind of. Kind yeah, of. two thirds of that anyway. Um, also, I don't like the idea of someone giving you two cards and you being able to search anything in your deck. Still wrong. Okay, <laughs> I was worried there. Um, yeah. My idea. Um, like, they kind of do pot retrains every couple of years. Like, I suspect, and this isn't confirmed in any way, shape, or form, that there will be one in Duel's Nexus. Yeah, that, that, that tracks. We are due one. What they ever will do, though. The last, well, the last one was Prosp, and I'd be... I'd be very happy if it came out, was really busted, so that Prosp would finally go down in price, and I could finally get myself a set. Prosp is just so good, though. It's... I, I've never rated it that much. I have one deck I want to play it in, but I refuse to pay $300 to play that deck. Yeah, and that's the problem. Budget decks shouldn't have Prosp, or they should just, you know, put Prosp in a structure deck already. Just leave the chair. It's okay. But then he'll be trapped. Valid. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't possibly get out. Yeah, he... Uh, <laughs> um, my idea... Port of... I don't know, Banishment... You banish the top six cards of your deck face down, your opponent randomly selects one and add to your hand. Do you know what would be cool if there was like a pot of chaos? It's like if you have ten or more cards banished, draw two cards. That'd be bust. Nah, it'd be cute. Anyway, next question. That was a good question. Far away. Yes. Uh, next question is from Crowbat5. Next two questions, actually. Um, Dose. Yeah, so his first one is in regards to the ban list. Uh, could Mally ever go back to three, or is it a problem card of three? It's a problem also, card of three. Also, <laughs> D, uh, you had the chance to bring back one of these cards to one. Uh, would it be Halk or Verte? I'd, I'd just ask if I can choose neither. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> want either of them back. Like, if I had, 
if I had to choose one of them, I would probably choose Verte. Verte is like one Hulk. of those just end things that like ends a combo, whereas how starts every degenerate fucking like break my board dot deck bullshit. They're both really shit cards for the game, and it's such a relief they don't exist anymore. True. Um, but yeah, um, in regards to Mali, um, it doesn't really need to come back to three. Like, for the deck that actually wants to run it, they now have a card that just yeah, puts just the banished copy back in the card. deck, so yeah. it's practically a three anyway. It would create a lot of problems if it wasn't three now, though. Because oh. now they can do the oh, yeah, three then they do a four and times. do the recycle. Yeah. Not, oh. not ideal. Uh, what? Well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Seb does raise a good point. In heroes? <laughs> Question mark? True. If they ever got an actual negate, it might be a problem. Um, his serious question though. If Konami ever printed a good hero card that negates your oh, opponent's yeah. card effects, would people play heroes at events? Um, Only if Mally went to three. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, I think it's more that people just aren't playing. Like, you get the occasional person that plays hero right. You just go second. Yeah. It plays through most things, so you don't actually care what the board is. Heroes? For most... Yeah. No. The, so the problem with the heroes is they think they can do that, but they play 34 to 35 cards in their main deck that all say hero go burr and six hand traps. And those six hand traps normally aren't enough to make sure that hero get they go burr. Well, this is what I was saying, is that a select few people play it right is that they go second they play a bunch of board breakers and just the standard hero stuff to get a board set up okay and then if they happen to go first they just started a bunch of fucking mass changes and just make it dark lord turbo dark lord turbo should just be the way that works they need another mass change target that's in a game simple Could like that. give them a fire mass change target that just negates or a light mass change target Nah, make it dark. Well, they don't have any lights in their deck, do they? No, no, but you make it dark so that um, you don't get locked out of anything. Because I'm sure there's one card that like locks you into darks. I think so. I can't remember what card it is because it's hero and who gives a flying yeah. fuck. Um, uh, second question, second part of this serious question. Whatever happened to our good friend DPE? He was nobody's friend. Uh, has he been left behind with the uh, Castle of History with his friend Dragoon? Or will people play him again? Crowbat V been playing heroes lately, hasn't he? He does like his heroes. If I'm remembering correctly, he's the one that's like every couple of weeks. Um, what do you think of this hero card? Um, but yeah, um, DPE, it's just one of those things when it was like part of the end board where you could just cheat it out with Verte, it was very easy. But now you have to hard open the Fusion Destiny and play the bricks on side. It was fine when you could cheat it out and you could just like make some materials and stuff like that but if you're like just playing those it's not super worth it in my mind yeah it's got to be strong and it's got to be fast it's got to be fresh for the fight is it is it gone back to three yes yeah 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 uh next question comes to us from right uh with trap decks like trap tricks and That's labyrinth what to dark it's fusion destiny doesn't that just lock you to heroes? No, it locks you to dark. That's the card that locks you to dark. Yeah. Um, anyway, Raiga asks, with trap decks like Trap Tricks and Labyrinth being so good right now, what do you think are key things to remember or to do when playing against a trap deck? Normal summon Denko Sega. Yeah, there's too many solemn cards. Yeah, then they solemned you. I don't like it. Just don't need your normal summon. Why am I not playing Denko in fucking... Oh, because it stops you from birthing. <laughs> eh. <laughs> please, please don't ever say that again why not it stops you from birthing it does stop you from birthing <laughs> disgusting oh we have someone oh it's Brack. never mind um yeah i don't particularly like trap decks and um there's a lot of answers like as much as people say oh there's heaps of stuff that you can clear the board with there's also a lot of answers to stuff that can clear the board um, like, like you've got lightning storms, you've got feather dusters, but they've also got the king of heavenly whatever that they just stop you from stops popping. you from popping shit. So you have to bait yeah. shit out, get it to summon, and then try and do it. Normal Denko. You've got evenly, but they've got solemns, and there's lanciers, and there's imperial iron walls and shit. Like there's counters to counters to counters. It's I don't like trap decks in that sense because you don't know what the counters are. I don't like trap decks when they can just flip a floodgate 
and go, now your answers don't matter. Yeah, there is that. That's the that's the one time I don't like trap decks. When trap decks rely on a skill drain or they rely on a skill drain to like be able to be flip face up and end your interactions, that's when I don't like trap decks. If a trap deck is good game of back and forth, I enjoy that. Because you can normally out resource them if you're playing properly and your hand isn't completely garbage. It's when they're like, ah oh, yes, skill drain is now face up. You go, ah oh, yes. Fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've. I think we discussed this literally last week as well. I've never been a fan of trap decks. Yeah, I but prefer... I was talking about my love of trap decks. Yeah, but you again, you like the less cringy types of trap decks. Like I still don't like them. Where's my Ronan Thoden? He did. Have a flip flop instead, or whatever his name is. What's his name? Substitute. That's the one. Um. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it just depends. Like, there's a lot of different answers, but then there's answers to your answers. So you just have to gauge what is going to work best and see how you go. Evenly is generally a safe bet. Yeah. Although in cash tier format, more people are putting in like iron balls and lanciers and all that nonsense. So. Yeah, but if you're not playing cash tier, I don't see that your opponent citing those cards to stop you evenly. True. Um, and last question this week comes to us from six i six. Uh, what TV shows are you currently watching, or what is your favourite series you have watched? <laughs> uh, what am I watching at the moment? Uh, I don't know. Me and Seb and Bragg are watching Mandalorian. That last episode sucked. I haven't watched any of those. The last episode sucked. Because it was just like, here's five minutes of The Mandalorian. Here's an hour of something else. And then there's another two minutes at the end. There you go. And there's something else. Just... Like one of those um, anime episodes where they go to the beach and it has like almost nothing to do with any no, of the rest of the show. No, no, it's not even like that. It's like... It's like that. It's like... It's... It was different characters going Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that. It was like... <laughs> it's like, oh, here's some new characters. Here's this. Going to the beach. <laughs> yeah, the guys from season one, you know those guys? They're going to the beach. <laughs> um... Yeah, so the dynamic of my house is that, like, my brother's very not into the same sort of shit that I am. So finding common ground for TV shows and stuff to watch is very difficult. Um, we watched the most recent season of You. Uh, you don't like You? Uh, yeah. There's better shows you can watch. Well, I'm, this, I'm not a this... girl with a stalker fetish, so... Hmm. You know, just don't enjoy it. Uh, what else? Um, again, this is probably more so like an age thing than anything else, but we, uh, we watch you Gogglebox. You watch Backyard? No, Gogglebox Australia. That's an age thing. Jake, I just you, find you it have funny. access to YouTube. Well, that's the thing. When I'm not... You know what Twitch when is. When he's watching his thing, like golf and surfing and bullshit I don't care about, I generally just go into my room and watch YouTube. That's fine. It's respectable. But don't watch Google Box on the TV. Yeah. Genuinely, that hurts my respect for you. I don't care about your respect. You play trap decks in cash. Anyway, yeah, your respect means nothing to me. Um, sure. Uh, in terms of like other stuff I've watched, I recently finished the Cyberpunk um, thing on Netflix. Everyone really tells short. me to watch that, and I'm like, it wasn't bad. I can't be bothered. It was really short. Genuinely, I finally pulled the trigger, and the last show that I watched the entire show of was Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. <laughs> that Nonce. show is fucking terrible at times. Yeah. Yep. What like, did you expect? So, the I watched season one because I kept getting hyped up on, like, there's going to be action eventually. Because Seb was like, the action's really good. I got to... It's like the last five minutes of the last episode... And I'm like, it's coming eventually. It was like me watching Game of Thrones. It's like, the dragons are coming. They're coming eventually. I meant the eventually. <laughs> was it, there was like a fighting scene that was good. At the end of season one. Okay. Yeah. Season two had like, it started with action and I was like, oh. And again, Seb was like, season two's different. And I was like, oh, after the first episode, there was, a decent, the there was a decent little fight scene in there. Things got a little dark. And I was like, 
this could be better. Again, no, just wait an entire season for a fight scene. The fight scenes that existed during the season were like them play fighting. Like zero stakes fighting where they're just like, we can't hurt each other. Let's just fight anyway. Yeah. Um, what's another good anime I've watched? I haven't watched a good anime in a while. I wouldn't recommend Miss Kobayashi's. No, absolutely not. Um, I didn't mind Fairy Tail, and I didn't mind uh, Seven Deadly Sins, although the quality of that one deteriorated as the seasons went on. Like, you could just tell they were putting way less effort into actually animating it. What's Attack on Titan? No, I've never rated that. Eventually, you'll get to watch Attack on Titan, the final season, part five. <laughs> It's like John Fun and the Farewell Tour number seven. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, um, that concludes us for this week. Actually, let me double check because Bragg was typing. Um, oh yeah, uh, Bragg was watching, um, or oh, wanting to answer that question, but he had to leave. Uh, he said, I'm going through a phase where I hate myself and everything on TV, so I'm watching One Piece with Seth. <laughs> that phase has been the last seven months. <laughs> We have two don't, TVs in the don't, house now. Don't, one is for One Piece. I can't believe you just called the man out like that. He says he's been hating himself, so he's been watching One Piece. And you're like, he's been hating himself for seven months. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that does conclude us for, uh, for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, feel free to jump into our Discord, give us some questions for next week, and we will catch you then. Peace.